confidence When I go all the way around like hips and take my sip on it Take a trip on it When I go you can go slow Wind it up on night Baby take your time Let me know Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're jumping right straight into this video. I'll be working with Yolisa hair today and that's the unit I'll be working with. As you can see, I've already plucked and bleached this unit. And um, so just so you know, it didn't come like this. I had to put in the work myself. So now I'm just gonna go in with my um, hot comb. I did use my Keracare wax stick. Um, briefly and then just went in with my hot comb and yeah so i like to prep my wigs on the dome head or the canvas head as i find that easier um and then just go in to um install the wig on my head later on but yeah so now i'm just flattening out the top just to make sure it is flat and sleek i really love my wigs to be sitting very flat and that's what i do so i just add some care care wax stick and then use my hot comb in um 400 sorry in 240 degrees celsius and um, this is the papa chi chi hot comb absolutely love this as you can see i have literally loved and abused it <laughs> and as you can see this is a closer look at the hairline like this hairline guys i did my thing y'all i really did and um, i'll be using my babyliss um pro curler and that's basically the um, heat protectant I used. I will link everything I used down below. And now I'm just gonna go in to layer this hair and I'm using one of those um, combs, razor combs. And I'm just basically layering in an angle. I don't really know how to explain it, but yeah, I'm just basically layering in an angle. You don't want basically to hold it straight and just cut straight through. You wanna hold it in an angle and just basically cut downwards if it makes sense um yeah so that's basically what i'm doing and i'll just let you guys watch this bit and yeah And also when it comes to layering, it is all down to your preference, guys. Um, I don't really go in too um, much whilst it's on the canvas head. I then basically, I just do a little bit and whilst the hair's on my head, I then go in and cut or layer a bit more if I feel like it. But I'm mainly focused on the front to just um, um, frame my face a little better and so that the curls actually sit right. So now going into styling, I am adding a bit more of the heat protectant and then going in with my Babyliss um, Pro Curler and I'm going in to just basically press the hair first um, just so I can get rid of any um, crinks or any um, waves or anything like that before going in to curl and um i'll just let you guys watch this bit on how i curl it's pretty simple not hard and i made sure to leave this in real time so you guys can see how i do it i also went in to do like a pink curled look i absolutely loved how this turned out but yeah let me just stop rambling and let you guys watch and yeah i'll be back
y'all know I do not like curling hair but when it comes to doing it on the canvas head I just find it so much easier and um, it just allows me to just do it um, to the best of my abilities so and I'm such a perfectionist as well so I just prefer styling it on the canvas head but yeah I'm going in with my keratin Swashkov um, hairspray and just spraying that generously and left that on um, for a couple of hours and yeah that's basically how it is looking very neat I'm quite um, proud of myself it took me hours to do but we got there in the end so now going into the install portion of this video can we just take a second and just acknowledge this lace like it is super thin absolutely like amazing so before starting my install i always go in to cut off my ear tabs as um, the lace is a bit too big so yeah you'd have to always go in and cut off the ear tabs to just so it just fits around your ears and it just fits perfectly basically um yeah so once that's done i go in to just section the lace as i like working in sections as you guys may know by now and going in with my Kiki hair care protectant and i just um, apply that onto a cotton pad and just wipe off any oils or excess dirt and i'll be using my even spray i love this stuff the hold on this is absolutely amazing i always start off by laying the crown portion before going on to the sides so um, once i've applied a generous amount onto my forehead and use my hands to just spread that out thinly i then use my rat tail comb and blow dryer to just press down the lace pretty simple i've not really changed anything with my install as of yet if i do find a different method i will definitely let you guys know but for now this is basically how i do it um and yeah And this part is always crucial I always go in with my elastic band you can buy this at a hair shop or wherever it always helps to melt that lace and now I'm just going in with my um, eyebrow razor to just cut off this lace and as you can see this lace is absolutely amazing can you see that it looks like it's literally melting like I was shook what lace what a lace y'all can't tell me this ain't my hair you can see how shocked i was yeah what lace <laughs> so to just further melt in that lace as you can see i have a little bit of like white residue i just spray some of the even spray onto my rat tail comb and just press that in and that should basically get rid of any residue so I'm just carrying on with my eyebrow razor to cut off the rest of the lace on the other side and yeah. In case you guys missed it, like, can you see this? Like, what lace? Right, so I'm just showing you guys again to get rid of the residue, just spray a little bit onto the rat tail comb and just press that in like this technique really helps as you can see everything is all melted and no residue in sight absolutely melted so now i'm just going in with a little bit of my um black opal foundation stick and that's slightly darker than me but i find that it actually helps melt the lace and who is she who is she what come on now y'all can't tell me this hair is not laid this unit is so stunning so i'm just gonna go in to further just hot comb the hair and make sure it's all flat and i decided to add a little bit um 
of like minimum baby hairs i didn't want to go in too much as the hair the hairline and the lace is just doing it all for me so i didn't really want to ruin it with a lot of baby hair so i went in with just natural looking ones and yeah but guys this unit yeah i'm definitely yeah <laughs> i could not stop running my hands through it it's just okay take a second who is she see fine babe what what lace what a lace i did my thing y'all like i was definitely feeling like that it girl because can y'all see this can y'all see this what how can you not right guys so this is the final look this is how the unit is looking i am absolutely stunned at how gorgeous this unit is like the lace is amazing and i did pretty well with plucking as well and installing this unit was pretty easy like it wasn't hard at all melting the lace was super easy as well as you guys saw the lace was absolutely amazing it was sensational literally like there's nothing bad to say about this unit it is absolutely amazing um let me just run you guys through the specs real quick um this is a 24 inch 200 percent density and it is also body wave texture and it is a 13 by 4 hd lace frontal and this unit is from yulissa hair and guys like this unit is so soft the lace on this unit is absolutely amazing you guys should definitely not sleep on this unit absolutely gorgeous i love it um yeah so that's pretty much it i will make sure to leave all the specs and details down below in the description box so make sure to check it out and thanks once again to aeolisa hair for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for clicking on and hanging out with me today if you did find this video helpful please do not forget to hit that like button and also leave a comment let me know if you will be trying out this unit or even this company and also hit that subscribe button and click onto the notification bell just so you get notified whenever i make an upload and yeah so thanks once again and i'll catch you in my next one bye